you know, <clears throat> I really feel it. I feel the words that Coffee Comics has spoken to me. He's made me reflect on uh, on my life, on my craft, uh, and how, just like the rest of you, I'm a zombie. I eat zombie food. I consume zombie media. And I just walk the dead walk over and over again. What I need is someone inspirational. What I need is someone to uplift me and help me deliver a message of purity and honesty and integrity. I need to be part of Coffee Comics Legion of Warriors. I no longer wish to be an agent of demoralization. I want to eat real food, cooked in a real oven, grown from the real ground, not this microwave garbage. I don't want to be smoking the Bakumon anymore. It's starting to make me sick. I need your help, Coffee. You are the crucible against demoralization. And I feel demoralized. Your inspirational videos have really touched me. They have uplifted me to a new height, a new way of thinking. I become a better person because of it. I pledge to no longer be a zombie and to go the coffee way. I want to be caffeinated. I don't want to dish out garbage. I want to dish out caffeine. I want to wake people up. I want to wake up to not doing it the Tyler way. I don't want to half-fast it. I don't want to have no commitment. I don't want to have any fun because when you're making comics and manga, it's not supposed to be fun. Right, Coffee? There's no fun to be allowed and we're not allowed to honor a man's legacy in this business for over 40 years because he's not inspirational. No, no. He's just another zombie. He's just a, a spark. Nothing inspirational of running a 40-year-old plus comic book publisher. There's nothing inspirational about giving new creators and veterans a place on the shelf. There's nothing inspirational of doing how to draw manga books that have served as the beginning guides for generations. No, I understand now, coffee. You have enlightened me. Not only do I want to drink the coffee, I want it extra, extra strong. I need an espresso. I need an espresso dose of coffee comics. And his newest words of wisdom have really, uh, really, really struck home. They're really profound. Coffee comics has talked about how creators shouldn't be e-bagging for Kickstarter money. How Kickstarter is basically begging for food, for scraps of that zombie food, for that scraps of dollars to pay the rent, to print a book, to mail a book, to make more books, to pay talent, and to pay yourself. Those are things that we do not want to do uh, in the coffee way. No, the coffee way is we move to Africa. We sit in a room. We bitch about everyone. We call everyone zombies. Because that is the only way that we can feel good about ourselves. I see the light now, coffee. I'm willing to have coffee with you. We can go to Tim Hortons and have a double-double. In fact, coffee, because you're struggling so hard. Because you rather get out your inspirational message. Lead. Lead humanity from the crutches of the zombie horde. I will buy your double-double. It's on me, coffee.
Because, man, we can't be e-begging on Kickstarter. We cannot ask people to support our book. We cannot do any sort of marketing because that goes against the coffee way. And I really want to turn a new page in my life. So I want to thank you, Coffee Comics, for showing me the way, the way forward, the way backwards, and the present. You are a man that can lift a thousand up. You're a man who speaks volumes when he talks. Your reach is unlimited. And now, your reach is unlimited. And let's hear your profound words of wisdom on Kickstarter right now. All right, today we're talking about Inupan. Now, Inupan and I, we had a disagreement. Was it last year or earlier this year? He posted something about something on Instagram and I disagreed with it and he made a video about it and yada, yada, yada. It's water under the bridge. But today we got to talk about people like Inu Pen should not be doing what they're doing right now, which is what? Begging. Inu, I hope you're watching this because dude, I support you. I support you and I actually want Cave King because this thing is an inspiration. It's an inspiration and we're going to talk about why I think it's an inspiration. So the first thing I noticed recently is that he posted um, this, this, well, not this pin thing, but just reminding people about the Kickstarter. But if we read what he pinned over here, it says KP King Volume 1 is available on Kickstarter. It would mean a lot if you did support buying my Volume 1 through the Kickstarter. I worked really hard on it, and all I need is just a little more help to make something like this a reality. That to me is demoralizing. That is i agree that's demoralizing putting out your work on twitter putting out a kickstarter link asking people to come by and support your work so you can make your dream happen is the most demoralizing thing i've ever seen i feel like a vagrant you know sitting in a downtown alleyway begging for scraps of food and just a little bit of wine but no, all I get is a dose of caffeine. Let's continue. It's absolutely demoralizing. I don't want to hear none of that. It's like, you know, you're a talented individual who will be paying the bills with your art. You're married and you got a kid and you're 23 years old. Dude has the whole package at 23 years old. People like Inu Pen should be winning. They have to be portraying themselves on the internet as winners not beggars how can somebody who has come this far be out here begging people to support their kickstarter that's another thing in my opinion i think inu pen is making the same mistake white manga made by being affiliated with these politically correct companies such as shrine comics or uh saturday m and it's holding him back just like saturday m Right? White manga is carrying it with Apple Black. In Shrine Comics, it's Inupen carrying it with Cave King. And he's making the same mis mistake to the point where now he has to beg people? It would mean a lot if you support buying my Volume 1 through the Kickstarter. I worked really hard on it, and I just need a little bit more help to make something like this a reality. That's begging, folks. If you do that, you're not following the coffee way. You're not being, uh, you're not getting that dose of caffeine injected into the bloodstream. All you're seeking is dopamine hits from the zombies and the zombie food. And Kickstarter is just another, another, uh, what, what would be the word? Enabler of the zombies in fact kickstarter may have started the whole zombie plague no if you want to follow the coffee route 
You can't ask anyone to look at your project. You can't ask for support. You can't let them know that you need financial help to make your dreams come true. No, you have to struggle like coffee. You have to, to just dream of success and not actually achieve it for the sake of your pride and doubling down on microwave food. To support his Kickstarter, supporting his Kickstarter supports Shrine Comics. If Inu were to leave, would Shrine actually stand on its own? I doubt it. This is the reality that we gotta talk about. I'm sick and tired of seeing young dudes being captured and seized by these older predators like Frederick or Jin, who that whom have these political issues or political affiliations with the crazy left. We know Frederick supports all the insanity. We know Jin does because he put his son in a dress. So yeah, absolutely shameful. And I don't like seeing this. I want to see people like Inu winning because when we see young people like Inu Pen winning, living their dream, it inspires others. We are in the West after all. We're I'm inspired. In fact, I'm so inspired that I don't need to listen to the rest of the video. I'm inspired to uh, to go out and beg. That's it, man. I'm begging on Indiegogo right now. We got Niobe Penguina number one on Indiegogo. We need all the help we can get to make this comic book a smashing success. $13,000 on Kickstarter. Come over to the Indiegogo. Link is in the description of this very video. And to make this short and sweet, Coffee Comics once again is full of shit. Always is, always was, and probably always will be, even though I've extended the hand to him. To come over and resubmit to Antarctic Press, maybe possibly get published. But no, no, he's going to, uh, he's going to ignore that. He's going to continue to take his shots. And now kickstarter if you go on kickstarter you're begging you're begging for for food you're begging for that zombie food maybe if coffee comics was smart and and i know that's a stretch right he he, he tries to come across as intelligent but the intelligent person would say this is a great crowdfunding platform i got all this work like let's say i'm coffee comics right i got all this work that I can put out there and make actually some money on, get something in print and get something in circulation. But no, but no, that would be too much like a zombie. You can't do that because it doesn't inspire. Well, your work will never inspire coffee if no one ever sees it. That's the pipe bomb. That's the bottom line. It's LP. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.